Hey, happy Valentine's Day. Welcome back to Hostess Coach. We are making chocolate souffles for Valentine's Day, so I thought let's make them together. So in my double boiler here, I have a half a stick of butter that I just threw in there to start melting. And to that, I'm going to add a couple sticks of uh, chocolate. I'm using the Trader Joe's. I'm using one dark chocolate and one milk chocolate, just for fun. And I had them both, so we are going to throw some chocolate in here in my makeshift double boiler. You could also do this in a in the microwave in a you know microwave safe dish if you wanted to, no problem. But I'm doing it here so you guys can can watch. So there we go. I've got one stick in and I'll put the milk chocolate stick in here. While that is going, my butter's starting to melt there. And we've got the milk chocolate. Get it melted. Yeah, who doesn't love chocolate on a holiday? Especially a holiday about love. And I thought just for fun in our chocolate, we would uh, throw in a little extra love with a few kisses just for fun. <laughs> so this is going here. It's gonna take a couple of minutes. Chocolate melts really quickly when it once it gets gets going so you don't want to be too hot if you do this in the microwave do it in really quick short batches because it will all of a sudden be melted and it burns really easily so you don't want that so that is melting away so we will work on our egg whites so since we just made Bernays sauce I uh, had a couple extra egg whites so this here if you guys can see five egg whites that I already started whipping so you wouldn't have to listen to me whip them this whole time. So hold on, that'll stay there for a second. And then I'm gonna do um, three tablespoons of sugar, but I'm gonna do them one at a time. So we're gonna do one in and then whip. Now I did put one eighth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar in my egg whites to give them a little extra stiffness. So I'm gonna beat in the first tablespoon of sugar. Look at that, stands up right on the bowl, huh? Two, mix that in. We are getting beautiful satiny peaks here. And then my third tablespoon of sugar going in. nice and stiff and when you put the sugar in they get nice and glossy can you see how they're getting glossy so there we go there's our egg whites so this recipe calls for three but I'm using five just because I had them left so I wasn't didn't want to throw them out so we might have a little more souffle mix than we are gonna need but hey you can never have too much chocolate souffle mix right I mean come on seriously yum okay so my chocolate here oh my gosh looks great so let me get it off the cooktop here. I might need my magic hands to move this cooktop. So let me my bowl. Okay, this looks beautiful. Again, chocolate and the butter, nice and glossy. So I'm gonna take that off here, let it cool for a second while we are, move this. And the cooktop is gonna magically disappear. And while I let this cool down for a second, because I don't want to put my egg yolks in there when it's quite so hot. So while we wait for that to cool for a se second, I'm going to prep my, my ramekins. So I already did two with the butter, with the butter. So this is a ceramic ramekin. You can, this size, this is, uh, does it say what size it is? I think this is an eight ounce. Um, but whatever size you have, whatever size you want to make these, totally up to you. So I'm going to put a little bit of softened butter 
into my ramekin and spread it all around because we want our sugar to stick. And then to the buttered ramekin, I'm going to add some granulated sugar. This is why I had a little extra out in my dish here. So I'm going to put the granulated sugar in and mix it all around. So every inch, whoops, of these, let me get another one. Do this is covered in sugar. So it gives your souffle something to grip to when it is rising in the oven, it'll grab onto that sh uh, sh sugar and rise. So there's the first one. I'm just making three. We'll see if I have more, I will make more, but for you guys, I'm making three. So there we go. Our sugar sticking to the butter all around. And my third one, get it all around. And then we will be good to go. My mom used to always make these in that one white big souffle dish, but I actually don't have one. So I need one to make one big one. You could do that too. No problem. So there's my three dishes all prepped and ready. And ready to go stuck my finger in that in that one so now we'll move on with our batter here so I'll move those off to the side here for now and to my melted chocolate we are going to start with the egg yolks I'm actually going to start with the, van the vanilla so I'm going to do a teaspoon of vanilla because it always brings out the flavor to add vanilla to chocolate, I think. And then whenever I'm making any kind of a chocolate dessert, I always add just a pinch of instant coffee because I like how that brings out the flavor too of chocolate. So I'm gonna put a pinch. This is one quarter teaspoon of just some instant coffee, throw that in. I'm gonna put a spin of salt in, just a little bit of salt. There we go, pinch of salt. And I'm going to stir this all in. And then we will get going with our egg yolks. Oh my gosh. Yum. Okay, egg yolks going in. Three egg yolks. This is what's gonna give our souffle some body. Some people put flour in their souffles. I am not a flour in my souffle kind of girl. So get that all nice and whipped in there. Oh, yum. Smells so good because it's Valentine's Day. So you got to have something yummy and chocolatey. Okay, that is good. So we are going to start here. Make sure I got everything in. I think I did. Um, I get distracted when I'm talking to you. To, to you guys. Okay, I'm gonna add our egg whites in three additions. So the first, I'm gonna put about a third of my egg whites in here and start to fold them in. Fold, you go front to back, over the top. Front to back, over the top to grandma's house. Front to back, over the top. You don't wanna knock all the air out of your egg whites that you just whipped in. So we wanna get them mixed in but we don't want to deflate them too much. But the first batch usually gets whipped in there the most there. You can see the colors are changing. So we get them, get the chocolate off the bottom, and mix it around. Oh my gosh, yum, I haven't made souffle in so long. This is awesome. It's gonna be great. Okay, next, adi next addition, let's do another third of our egg whites. Throw those in. I think we are definitely gonna have more mix here than my three ramekins. Who's coming over for souffles? <laughs> they will be ready after I make dinner. We are having fillets and asparagus and scalloped potatoes, yum. Okay, second addition. See how it's getting lighter here as we mix this. Oh my gosh, yum. Okay, and then 
our last addition here, egg whites. Ah, I'll get them all in. Yikes. Okay. So now if you like orange with your chocolate souffle, you could put a little Grand Marnier in here instead of the vanilla, no problem. You can also make a, a cream anglaise to go in here like they do in restaurants. I'm not making that today. We're gonna use a little vanilla ice cream, which you can also, insider's tip, melt a little vanilla, good quality vanilla ice cream and boom, cream anglaise, and you don't have to make it. <laughs> but if you want the, whip, the regular ice cream works too. So I see I've got a one little ball of egg white here. So I want to pop that because I don't want it someone to get a ball of egg white in their souffle. Okay, so now I'm going to fill my dishes here. And I'm going to fill them to the top. Now you can make these ahead, no problem. You can leave them just as the batter or you can put them in your baking dishes and cover them and keep them for a day or two in the fridge and they would be fine. Oh, look at that. I'm just gonna fill them to the tippy tippy top cause I have just enough here. How about that? These are gonna be so delish and filled my, my ramekins here to the top. Try not to make a total mess, but look at that. Three perfect, awesome. Okay, hold on, put this down. I'm going to wipe off my finger because I'm going to take my finger and go around the edge here and make a little well on the side. There we go. Make a little rim. Do that one along the edge. So then when your souffle pops up, you have that little rim. So there you go. Chocolate souffle. Now I will come on and show you on the video once we get these cooked. Um, and show you what they look like when they come out of the oven. But I'm gonna put them on back on the baking sheet, put them in the oven and cook them for, see how long, get you on here, 400 degrees uh, and then about 15 minutes. So it depends how hot your oven is. It can go 12 to 15 minutes um, and because you want them to be done, but you also want them to be yummy and fudgy. So there you go, chocolate souffle, as easy as that. So thanks for watching. It's always a pleasure to have you here, and we will post a picture of these done momentarily.